Hello, hello. There's always that little beginning part where we have to get everything all set up. There's always okay. that. Oops, sorry about that. Part. Turn this off. We have to get everything all set up. That didn't help much, did it? Okay, I'm gonna make sure I can see your comments. I think that's set. Um, <laughs> I think I can see comments on here as well. If you come in, please say hello so I know you're here. Hey, Tina. I thought you were out here. food, girl. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Um, I posted a photo of what I'm going to be doing. Hi, Deborah. Um, it's the, I, I decided to do a carrot, um, a little smaller version of, say, the, um, hi, Muriel. Yay, I'm happy you're here. Um, a little smaller version of, say, you know, the tree board, the Christmas tree board. Um, and it's, and I figured why not just do it on the rectangle board, right? So this will be quick. I mean, I know there are people that are just dying to watch the football game, right? So, hi, Judy. Glad you're here. Um, I am using fabric mesh in orange. Um, and I have some horizontal wide stripe that I'm going to be using um, for the, I don't know, leaves or ruffles that I'm putting at the top. So, I just kind of um, played this you know, by the seat of my pants, I was just playing around. And my main goal here was to create um, something that is a little bit, uh, I say uh, way too much, and I apologize, something that's a little more reasonable in price to keep in your inventory. I'm all about that. And so I always, you know, I might make some of my more extravagant wreaths um, that are naturally, you know, a little pricier. And then I'll I'll do some very minimal, minimal wreaths that I can lower the price on. And um, hi, hi Ruth. And you know, that way you can appeal to everyone. Not not everyone has a hundred dollars to spend on a wreath. You know, um, this one, if you do it on one rectangle board, what have you got there? Two, two, two dollars and fifty cents. I, um, you can easily, easily get two and a half carrots from one roll of the orange mesh so you know one roll is what seven bucks eight bucks say so you know you're 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 down to what three bucks maybe and then this was just left over in my stash i mean it takes four pieces of this so here you have a wreath that is or you know door hangers that's costing you next to nothing that you could sell for 25 30 bucks okay so I don't know it's it's just my prerogative to try to keep a few things um, in stock that are you know a little bit more appealing to the people who um, who you know it's the hundred dollar research out of their budget so anywho let's um, let's get started okay so I have preloaded this board and this is how I'm gonna do it this is how I did the first one there may be an easier way. Um, you know, I start at the bottom. We want a point. You know, it's a carrot. So um, we're going to do two singles here. And then you want to start spreading it out. So double petals. Then go out to three petals. I skipped these rows mainly for... Um, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> mainly to save again on mesh. Um, what is wrong with me and the ums? Then, you know, skip this row, you have three again. Three again, and we're actually going to share, um, let's see, use these again to put our ruffles on, okay? And then an extra ruffle pointing up. Oh, you'll understand as we move along. Okay, I did the, um, I believe it's just the basic sunflower petal, hopefully. Um, and I'm going, I saved a few to show you, and I have most of them pre-made again. I wanna, you know, don't wanna hold anyone up from that football game. So let me lower this down a little bit and um, we'll make a quick carrot. How's that sound? 
Oh, also, I have this cute, cute, cute bunny ribbon. I'm gonna do it exactly like I did the other one. I um, I actually got this on Michelle's um, live sale. That was a real bargain too, see? So, you know, the costume ribbon was next to nothing. I have a big old huge roll of the bur this kind of burlap that matches the bunny. So um, this was a, actually a Costco find. We don't get ribbon a lot in our Costco's, but anyway, if you have any questions or anything, um, <gasps> the um, uh, just if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If I don't get them now, I'll I'll go back through after the live is over and try to answer. Okay. Also, if I if if I can't find my glasses, someone please remind me they're on my head. Okay, because that's that can sometimes be a problem for me. All right, I'm gonna lower this down and let's get going. Okay, how's that view? Everybody okay? And see okay. All right, let's fold a, um, oh, let's fold a sunflower petal. Let me see, let me make sure you guys can see all right. Sorry. Let's do this. Okay, 10 by 10. I did wood burn this because you will be able to see the edges. Uh, factory, top left, bottom right. And we're just going to scrunch up the middle. Now I'm going to flip that over, and when I do, I want it almost on top of the other one. Hi, Penny. Thanks for coming in. If, I would really appreciate a share. I'm really trying to build my page back up and um, oh, and get get going with lives on a more regular basis again. Um, I think I've gotten dog into a somewhat routine. I took him on a big old walk right before this. So, okay, so there you have this. And if you just, you've got it made, go ahead and rubber band the bottom. Hi, Christine. Let's see. And then if you, if you want, you can line them up a little better and then just give them a, a nice little tug at, at, at the bottom by the rubber band to kind of spread them out a little bit. Okay, so there we have the sunflower petal, I do believe. I think this would look amazing with the Dean Michael and Polly Burlap, but I didn't have any in orange, so therefore the fabric. Okay, so we're going to start at the bottom. I'm just going to put this one in here. Now, the bottom one does have a tendency to you know, curl under. I would suggest when you're all finished sitting a book or something on that to flatten it out more. Or, you know, when I hung it up to take a picture, I just, you know, put it up against the wall and it was fine. So don't be um, discouraged by the, the curl on this one. But, you know, certainly you can flatten it out with a book or something on top. Okay, so I've got some petals made, like I said. Put this zip tie off. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it a lot. I'm from Red Wine Wreath Boutique and um, trying to build my page back up after my recent move. So a follow or a like or a share or I just appreciate you keeping me company. Okay, so there we have our first two that are going to make our point at the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to jump up to doing two, two petals. And make sure your, um, all your serge, I mean your factory edges are on the same side, of course. I really need to get like an overhead camera or something. My hand's in the way. trying to pay attention if you have questions so if not message me or just ask them anyways and I'll go back through the live and see if I missed anything yeah Ruth what football game right 
hey, if Green Bay, if the Green Bay Packers, and I'm in California, but we're my family's big Green Bay fans. If if the Packers were playing, we'd be all over it. But I probably will head down to my daughter's house where they they'll they'll watch it. I'm just there for the food and the commercials. <laughs> okay, so now we we skipped this row. Uh, you could you could absolutely do every row. I just didn't want a big puffy carrot. And also, um, again, just I was trying to be economical and save a little mesh. <laughs> so we're up to three now. I'm always going to start putting my petals in on this side because I want that that finished edge laying over the top of the next petal, unlike what I just did. So let me fix this one. And there we go. So this one in. Canada doesn't get commercials? Wow. That's the best part of the Super Bowl. That and the halftime show. I'm not even sure who's in this halftime show. Because again, Green Bay is not playing. <laughs> okay. This will be a very quick live because there's not much to it. How does how do they pay for the Super Bowl if there are no commercials? I don't understand. is backwards and I'm not having that so I'm gonna have to redo that one. See I don't want the I must have not laid it right to do it so the the finished edge is on the wrong side. And and this one as well. And this one as well. <laughs> Maybe it's this one that's wrong, huh? Let me go back here. to redo all these petals. This might be longer than we thought. There are commercials, but just regular commercials, not the new... Oh! Oh, okay. Guess that part's okay, too. All right, let me see what I what I did wrong. Did I go the wrong way? Flip it over. Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. I want... There. Okay. Finished edge, top left, bottom right. I knew that. Let's see if that's gonna work now. Yes, okay. That one's gonna be a little bit wonky. Finished edge, top left, bottom right. That's the way I do all my petals. I was in a hurry though. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wait. Don't listen to a word I say because I just did it again. Let's try it this way again. What was what's going on? Oh, let me try one more. Let's see. this way. Let me think. Think left. It goes this way, then they'll be on that side. I want them on this side. Nope. Nope, it's curled down, I know that. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. What? <laughs> I lost my mind here. This is what I get for trying to do things spur of the moment, you know what I mean? This is the way. Okay, which way was that now? Okay, top left, bottom right. Finished edge. My bad. <laughs> okay, flip them up. 
There we go. Whew. Top left, bottom right. <laughs> Hold on. You got to go with the Eagles. Oh, yeah. My um, granddaughter, her her boyfriend is a huge Eagles fan, and he works for Tesla. And they actually um, gave some of the employees tickets to the game. So my granddaughter and him will be at the game. How exciting is that, huh? Okay, let me reload this then since I don't know what I was doing. Those two over there are wrong though, so okay. Top left, bottom right, help me remember. Oh the mesh is ten by ten. Or it may be ten and a half. It may be ten and a half. But um I just fold it into a triangle and find my line when I um, wood burn it. And that's that's how I get it in a perfect square. <laughs> I think a lot of the fabric mesh now does come as ten and a half, so I I could be wrong. If it's ten and a half, then you want a ten and a half square. Okay, let me fix these because they're not right. Well, we're just gonna go with this one. I'm a mess here. Okay. Not sure where I was going with that, but you get the gist. Always do them the same direction. <laughs> okay, and then three again. We're going to go three again here. Okay, this one's right. How quick and easy is this? First, I was going to put these little, um, I had these like little, I don't know, palm pieces of greenery, and I thought, well, I could put those on top, but then I, I had to come to a decision on how to hide the ends up at the top, see, so, and I thought, not just a bow, because that might not work, so I did green ruffles, and I like them. First time watching from England? Oh, bless you. My um, my mother was a war bride and came here from England, and all of my family is still there. Um, my cousin Liz actually messaged me this one's wrong the other day, and I collect. Um, let me redo these. I collect. She always sends me things on the birth of any of the royal babies or marriages or anything like that, and she said. I have recently moved and she said to me, um, there, top left, all right. She said, send me your new address so I can send you a, a cup or something for from the coronation. So I'll be getting a little package soon. She's great. I have a whole little collection of mugs and egg cups. I don't know if everyone knows what an egg cup is, but Sally could um, certainly help us. Huh. <laughs> okay, I think we got it now. Yeah, my mom came over here when she was 18 years old, way, way back in the day. She's no longer with us, but my dad married her there, and it took almost a year to get her here. I should have took this over a little more. Yeah, so I grew up on shepherd's pie and all the good things. Roast beef dinner every night, every Sunday. It's what you put an egg in, of course, right? With your soldier toast. Love it. I know a lot of the kids when my mom would go to the school, you know, she she her accent never fully went away, which I loved. But um the kids would all say, Where is your mom from? you know, because she couldn't say four. I mean she could say it. Oh, fish and chips. Oh, yes. Um, she she would say folk and, and golf, you know, for golf. And so when I first started talking, I talked the same way. <laughs> it was it was a fun it was a fun time. I haven't been. My daughter has been back to England with my mom. 
but I have not been. I've met a lot of my cousins. They came here, of course, but whoops, so I'm just going to start on this side, right? With Marmite. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. I love it. Okay, we have two more of these orange. Oops, sorry, no questions, huh? Okay. Oh, now you have me craving fish and chips. Mm. Okay, this one is a backwards one, so I'm going to redo it. Okay, see, I messed up. Top left. Lower right for your factory edges, okay? I would appreciate, again, if, if you guys could share my page. I'm trying to get my viewers back up as I was out of um, live commission for about four months. So I appreciate you all being here, though. All right, there's that one. A little more of these. Top left, a little right. I love all the England people. Thanks. My cousins, I have cousins in Braintree. Is that close by you anywhere? Thank you, Ruth. You're the best. No, because I've undone some of these. I have a little fraying on them, even though I did wood burn them. But what a quick and easy little project on the rectangle. You could even do a longer one if you did a double board, you know. And look, I've messed this one all up, but it'll straighten out. Okay, now we're back at it. neighbors are, um, he's having a big Super Bowl party today. I was hoping to get this done. Um, oh, you grew, oh, you grew up in England. Oh, therefore, English is, okay, I get it, duh. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to trim off a little of these frays because they're annoying me. I'll snag them when they get worse. See, it doesn't come out extra puffy if you, can you see it? It doesn't come out extra puffy this way if you skip and, and again, just, you know, saving and uh, saving your customer as well. Okay, so now we're on to the, the, the ruffles at the top. And this is where, this is where I, let's see, I went this way, this way, okay. I kind of have to remember now how I did this. Um, I just wanted, you know, coverage on these top zip ties. So we're going to do British living in the States, though. I did become a citizen in 2013. You know what? My mom never actually became a citizen. Isn't that funny? Okay, so I did do I the outside. I did do it from the outside, but I am going to put it in just like this so so it's covering do you understand okay hello the rain okay so however you can get these ruffles on there to cover that's what I suggest <laughs> Okay, I didn't fold these other ones, so let's do that. Let me get this out of the way for a second so I can show you. It's just the basic ruffle. This is this as well is 10, 10 by 10 or 10 and a half if that's what it is. But I just a um, little bit of overlap in the middle there. Scrunch down and scrunch right up the middle. Flip it up, make sure the top edges are aligned. And then a good rubber band around it. I 
I tell you, I cut my thumb the other day on on the scissors, of course, you know, like when someone when someone's using scissors, you basically, you know, you're cutting whatever you're focused on, but who sticks their thumb like right in there? Here, let me put my thumb in there while I'm cutting this. I'm, it's, I'm just a mess when I craft. It's terrible. Okay, there's one of those. Let's do another. One day I stuck my, um, oh, thank you, Lorraine. One day I stuck my little finger right, right in there. Just, I don't know. I must have missed that day in kindergarten. Flip it up. Put your band around it. Okay, we have one more. Could whip up a few of these in a day. It'd be great if you're going to a craft show and you want to take something that's a little, you know, a little less pricey. Because I mean, everyone wants a door hanger or a wreath, but you know, not everyone can afford the pricey ones. Okay, we have those made. Back to the board. Let me have a little sip of my beverage here. Mm. Okay, we have a beautiful, beautiful, sunshiny day here in California today. And I am so happy. I'm ready to um, start thinking about my garden. Wreaths by Rose, I like that. And the way you spell wreaths. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now these nubs are going to show. Can you see here? But this is also, we're going to use these same holes to attach the bow. So that was the only thing I could come up with. If you can think of something better, then run with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I must have walked my dog really good because he passed out over here. Okay, one more zip tie. We examined exactly the same shared holes of the last row of um, our orange petals. So when you do put the bow on, you, you are um, adding like three things to those holes, but where there's a will, there's a way, right? I can barely get the other zip tie in here. Okay. I have Brit Box over here so I can catch some of the new shows. Oh, <laughs> on the telly? On the telly, right? I love it. Okay, so there we have our ruffles. Now, if I, I guess if I put them, you know, there's always the option, maybe someone else could try this, put this one in um, open, and then, you know, attach it. I don't know, but when I put the bow on, it seemed okay. And so this, and since this was just all on my own, this is, this is how I ended up with it. Okay, and then I wanted, um, this wasn't enough. This didn't feel like enough. I wanted something coming up, so. Oh, I shouldn't, um, let me take this hanger off of here right now. We don't need that yet. So what I did was, um, I put a zip tie in here to add one pointing up. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, on the tail here. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I forgot how to add a zip tie for a second. I can't remember if I was hanging the hanger or the... Okay, let's get that in there. Put my ruffle. Sorry, I'm, I know it's probably hard for you to see, but I'm just gonna put one pointing toward the top to add more leaves there. Okay. Alrighty. Now we have a carrot. 
And the zip ties are all pretty well covered except for right there. Okay, so what do we do? Why a bow, of course, <laughs> right? Okay, let's do the bow. I do use the easy bow maker. And I'm just, it's gonna be a simple bow. I do want some decent tails on it. And I, I don't know why, but I'm backwards with my bow maker and I apologize for that. So let's go about oh, 13 inches for a tail. Can always cut it down later. And this is directional bunnies. So in order to stay in Michelle's good graces, we are gonna cut two tails. Because Lord knows if I post this on Wreath Kitchik and those bunnies are running upside down, she will not be my friend anymore. All right? Okay. Bunny's going in the correct direction. Let's do that again. Always have your bunnies hopping, not upside down. <laughs> so this is how we do. There, now we have bunnies in, in the right direction, okay? So Michelle will spot that with the quickness, I'll tell you. Okay, and I'm gonna do about, how big is that across there? Let's see, roughly, oh gosh, about five inches. I'm gonna do a six, a six inch loop, just to kind of cover all the way across there. Oh, you're going to do the Sarah? Oh, I can't. You know, the diagonal cuts make me crazy. I have to figure those out because Michelle, that makes it look so easy. She just kind of eh, up the middle. Well, if I do that, I end up with a triangle and some other thing. <laughs> I need to um maybe fold and make a, a crease or something. I need to figure that out. Okay, six inch there. And I think I'm just going to do, um, I'll do two two of these. I think that's what I did on the other one. I don't know what I did with that wreath. Oh yeah. Did I do two? Yeah. Or one. Two loops. Okay. Two of the bunny. I think Michelle has some more stash boxes coming up soon. Boy. Those are, I'll tell you, that girl got some stuff. She got some stuff. <laughs> her life set was really fun too. I don't know how she kept track of it all by herself. Cut them with the rotary color for the diagonal cuts and a really yes yes she said she that's what she does she doesn't necessarily wood burn it there but i've tried that and i don't know okay all right we have two six inch loops i always cut this off kind of long because i don't want to lose it and then i'll just trim it up later hi rose how are you i'm doing a tutorial on how i make my wreaths rose is one of my rose customers <laughs> Go figure, huh? Okay. And then we'll do the same size tail with this one. I'm just measuring it for the from the other ones. And then about maybe a five inch five inch bow or loop. Five inches. Does anyone else, anyone here, else, I should say else, yeah. Struggle with bows, it took me forever. And I was ready to give up. You'll be by this week to pick up. Okay, no problem, it's here for you. Rose ordered a, um, a red rose from me. And then she went home and decided since she has double doors, she needed a matching one. So she's getting it. Isn't the bunny ribbon cute? Yep, that was in Michelle's live sale. I had to have it. It's kind of a little vintage, I don't know, maybe a vintage-y bunny. That's kind of why I went with um, the burlap ribbon, to just keep it kind of, I guess um, uh, some real spring florally ribbon would be cute on these, um, but a pink one, a, you know, some contrasting colors, who knows anything, go with it. 
If anyone does make one of these similar, or with the Dean Michael petal, which would be gorgeous, please do share. Let me see if I can get a pipe cleaner here. I only did one of the burlap loops, so I don't want a huge bow because I don't want it to take over the, the carrot. Okay. Lift this off. Oh, that owie on my thumb. Oof. But a crafter's got a craft, wounded or not, right? Okay, around the middle and just tighten it up. There we go. I don't know why I fluff, because the minute I move this thing, it's going to be all over the place. Now I can cut this thing off and see if I can get my finger in the way. That's what I do. Okay. And that one's good. That one's okay. All right, let me get this out of the way. Make sure I'm not missing anyone's questions. All right. Dovetail some ends here. Doesn't this bunny look kind of vintagey to you? Maybe, I don't know, it's just a brown bunny. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but it just does for me. I love it. Okay, now, now, here comes the chore of attaching this thing in the holes that I already have two zip ties in, see? Because I'm going to go right right in here and there are already two there's a one of the ruffles and one of the petals here so so bear with me here comes some wreathing yoga and i know i know and i have like five of them the big darning needles for like yarn and such but oh do you think i use them And there we go. Wow. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Can you guys see okay? Let me lift this up just a little bit because we got some wreath action going on there. Okay, I'm gonna tighten it up. And then I'll have to refluff the whole thing because I just flipped it over. <laughs> There's a big long hair of mine. Okay, let me trim these off and tuck them in. All right, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I always like to roll these my tails up too, so get a little curl action going. There we go. Roll this one up. And what, what? How long have I been on here? What, thirty minutes? And that was slow because I was showing you guys and of course I had to mess up and talk too but 30 minutes and boom okay I think the halftime show lasts, lasts longer than that doesn't it or the commercials <laughs> Make one of these during one of the commercials, or the 12 commercials, I should say. 
Is everything all puffed out here right? Put that one in the middle of the other two. Let's see. There go. Pull these out a little. Oh, it's cute. View. Ta -da. See now this bottom, like I mentioned, if you put a book on it tonight, you know, to flatten it out. But honestly, when I put it up to take a photo against the wall, it was fine because it has something to hold it. And just straighten all your your petals out. And uh, you have a very quick, easy, and economical wreath. Uh, one for those special customers that, you know, you want to buy from you again. You know, you sell those bazillion dollar wreaths and um, they're not going to buy another one for a while because they've invested their wreath budget in one wreath. So I like to keep mine, you know, a little, a little better priced. Okay, well, we made it through alive. The dog was okay. I only said, um, 47, 48 times. <laughs> and uh, there's a cat for you. Hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, um, I did it again. If anyone makes one of these, would you please share it to our wreath group? I'd love to see it. I'd love to know if I inspired anyone. I will continue to, um, try to do my lives and correct my uh, vocabulary and uh, we'll see you all next time i'm not sure what i'll be doing i'm thinking i need to get a little um, started on easter maybe so until then please 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 be kind to one another and um peace thanks for joining me bye